Hello everybody, my name is Will, and welcome back to our Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. Last time, we tried to research Clet's um, disease. In this episode, we're going to see if we can search for a way uh, to cure it uh, by going here to Mount Tokyo. So, uh, starting off, we're just going to go through the sewers like we usually do. Um, but if we try to go through the sewers, like um, something different will happen. Um, I did not mean to do that. Just ignore that that happened. Alright, quick jump. Now, um, so we're gonna actually, um, be teleported over here. Um, so, um, this is the money. Yup, it's all here. How long before the king is dead? Probably another month or so if it's poison. It takes a while. I've been told to make it look like he died from an illness. It's slow, but he'll die for sure. Tell his highness the pope to just wait a little bit longer. I see. I knew there was something wrong when the normally healthy king got sick. What are we gonna do, Lloyd? Isn't it obvious if we save the king, he'll beat our debt. Let's go. Why can't they just um, say that they'll save him? Who's there? It's the Chosen. Damn, it's Zillow's. What? It's you, Farley. Damn, I can't have people knowing about the assassination. Die here. Be quiet. I won't forgive you. I'm going to die here? You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to die here like that damned Alicia. Don't insult Alicia. So he was linked between the Pope and Rhode Isle of the five Grand Cardinals. The Pope is connected to Kuchinawa as well. Experts in Tefaella passed from Varley to Rhode Isle, and experiments related to Crucis Crystal were passed from Rhode Isle to um, uh, passed from Rhode Isle to Varley, and ultimately to the Pope. So the Pope probably asked them to assassinate the King in exchange for his cooperation. Insolence. All right, let's get the Pope. All right, so we're gonna finally go get the Pope, who's been breathing down our necks almost pretty much ever since we arrived here in Tefaella. Um, so yeah, let's go get him. Alright, so, uh, we have the skit. End of the Revenge. Alright, so, uh, let's just go up to church and see the Pope. So that is right in here. And this door over to the left. If I can actually go through it. There we go. You're late. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. What? What are you people doing here? We have something we want to ask you about. Your majesty, you're poisoning his majesty, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. You're certainly a stubborn little liar. Is there an antidote? I don't know anything. Don't move. Then let's have you drink this, this poison. It doesn't take effect immediately, anyway. Uh, Alright, it's in a drawer in the desk. Here it is. I've been, um, I have something I've been waiting to ask, um, waiting to ask you, too. Why did you have, um, try to have Kate executed? She's your daughter! Shut up, what do you know? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Um... I don't, I don't know, so that's why I'm asking. Are you stupid or something? You have a half-elven daughter. Why would you take the initiative of, um, in creating rules to oppress half-elves? When I was young, I also thought the oppression of half-elves was wrong. 
Then why? The church exists to offer salvation to all, does it not? Are you capable of understanding the terror of growing old? Well, your child who supposedly shares your blood does not. That's not Kate's fault. That's the kind of species half-elves are. Yes, and that is why they are shunned. I understand the feelings of those who persecute them. Because my daughter is a half-elf, she terrifies me. I just called the guards. If the Chosen dies here, the church will be mine, in both name and reality. Will the Church of Martell last without the Chosen? Hm, <laughs> we have Celeste. So you did intend to bring my uh, drag my sister into this, you pathetic old geezer. It's your fault. Why is a worthless and irresponsible man like you the Chosen? If, you, if it weren't for you, no one would have interfered with my half-elf banishment project. Why do humans treat us this way? Those who are different must be eliminated. Shut up, it doesn't matter if you're a half-elf, a human, or whatever. No matter who or what you are, once you're born in this world, you have the right to live. Don't move. And he got away. Hey, he's gonna get away. I will take care of them. Damn, he got away. Chosen, I'm sorry. Please prepare yourself. Ah, it's an angel. An angel has come down from heaven. It's the second coming of Spiritua. Look, your her um, heretical deeds have brought down an emissary of Crucius. Chosen one, then this tr um, must truly be... Yes, she is an angel of death and destruction. Spiritua has returned. Please forgive us, O oh great angel. Uh, um, what should I do? Hey, what's going on? Don't worry, just follow my lead. Oh, holy angel, how shall we deal with these creatures? Collect, say you're going to kill them. But, but, it's okay. Just say as if, um, if you're, like, you're in command. Um, die! Please forgive us. Holy one, please spare their lives in my name. I would have... Defeat those who oppose you, and once again, act as the Chosen to spread the teachings of Martell. Please, say you'll forgive them. Uh, okay, I shall forgive you. Did you hear that? The angels recognize the Chosen as the true holy of the church. Leave at once and capture my enemies, the Pope and his private soldiers, the Papal Knights. Yes, sir. Revoke the one in status of the Chosen and his companions at once. Yes, sir. Everyone do as the Chosen commands. Wow, everyone, you, um, everyone did what you said, Zillos. We had, we were saved by the Legend of Spiritua. Is that related to Spiritua of um, the Chosen of Silverant? Beats me. If you want to know about the details, go read the books in the church or something. Anyway, Spiritua is famous for saving a Chosen by killing a king who tried dis to dispose of the Chosen. Hmm, kind of like what's going on now. Does this mean they won't be chasing us anymore? A church should be fine now. Anyway, what's left is His Majesty. We need to let him know that he's been poisoned. Alright, so Colette obtained his title of Spiritual Reborn. Alright. Wait! Princess, please let us see his majesty. I don't know anything about the return of Spiritual, but my father is sick. My father only wanted to protect Tefeala. We know. Are you aware that his majesty has been poisoned by the Pope? That can't be. It's true, the Pope has run away upon being investigated for it. We must, um, we must hurry and neutralize the poison. Please move. Looks like this is the, um, definitely the antidote. Ugh. Mm. Father! Ugh, what? Looks like he's regaining consciousness. Your Majesty, do you recognize me? The traitor. Zelos, have you come to kill me? No, Zelos saved you. Traitor, yes, that does suit me. Anyway, we were set up by the Pope. We have no intention of harming Tefeala. Even if the ruling family were to doubt him, the church, soldiers, and citizens will certainly side with Zealous the Chosen. We had to return a spiritual out with us, after all. What do you want? We want to see documents concerning the hero Mythos and a Carlon war that are um, maintained by the royal family. They are stored on the archive on the second floor. Do what you will with them. Do not show yourselves in front of me again. I am tired. I want nothing more. Um, I want nothing more to do with the church's power struggles. You're just being selfish. 
It's all right, kid. Then, Your Majesty, we will allow, um, we shall allow ourselves access. All right. So now uh, we can go look for that book. Uh, first, I want to check out Clutch's title that she just got. Spiritual reward. Um, right. That's actually pretty good. So I will equip that. And all right. So here's the, where the library is. Uh, so let's just go check it out. All right, let's start looking through all through the books. It's no use. I can't believe we've searched through all of this and still haven't found it. Are there any other books? I'm not going to give up. There has to be a way. Lloyd, thank you, but it's okay. You can stop. I like how it just comes floating down. This is angelic language. No, for elven letters. Wait, this may be it. I certainly, I certainly didn't expect to find the book, the book that way. Colette's calmness, um seems to be truly blessed. Professor, what does it say? Wait. In order to prevent the erosion of the Crucius Crystal, a Mana Fragment and Zircom are fused using Boltzmann's technique to create a Crucius Crystal, I mean a Rune Crest. Fibers from the Mana Leaf Herb, when placed in the crest, protect against the crystallization caused by the illness. Uh, the rest of this is just theory. So in other words, we need uh, a Mana Fragment, Zircom, and a Unicorn Horn, right? And a Mana Leaf Herb. Then we make something called a Rune Crest. And attaching that to a Creed Crest will suppress the crystal's activity. Who's going to make that? Well, a dwarf, I guess. What's happening to Colette's body? It says it's called Chronic Angelus Crystallius Enophysium, just like Altesse's diagnosis. It's an illness that causes the entire body to become a Crucius Crystal. Okay, now we have some hope. But there's not much time. It says the, epi um, the epidermal crystallization begins within a few months. And the final stages of the disease cause the body to completely crystallize. The internal organs start to crystallize once the epidermis is cr crystallized, and then finally, the subject dies. I suppose there's no point in trying to mince words. Yes, exactly. Let's hurry. Cute girls deserve to live long. What are the materials? I mean, where are the materials? My company once handled Zircom. If we go to the main Lizareno building, we should be able to find information on it and where it is stored. Mano Leaf Herb is probably in Himdal. The Elven Village? Yes, I think I've heard of that name of the plant before when I was a child. But the people in, of Himdale forbid anyone that is not an elf to enter the village. Why? It seems there was um, some trouble between them and humans a long time ago. These days, no one enters without a permit from the King of Tefeala. I wonder if the King will uh, give a permit to us. Who knows, he doesn't seem to want to see me. We could try asking Princess Hilda. Then assuming we can get the Mana Leaf Herb, what about the Mana Fragment? What is it, anyway? Beats me. In the scriptures of the Church of Martel, there is a passage that says, The colossal man of, of the great motherland, Darius Carlon, rained down upon the earth in fragments, giving birth to all living things. So is in Darius Carlon. There is no proof, but... That's the enemy main base. Let's do that later. First, we'll go to Lesser Rain, um, go to Himdal or Lesser Reino Company in Ultimira. Alright, so, um... I'm going to be doing the getting Zircrom and Ultimira first, but I still want to get the permit so we can go to Himdal from Princess Hilda because it's right here, so why not? My father says he um, that he does not want to meet with anyone, but we need to go to Himdal. The king is the only one who can issue the pass to Himdal, right? Could you please ask him for us, Princess? Celis, if you insist, I will ask my father. Please wait a moment. Even if we receive a pass, Himdal is not a friendly village to anyone except elves. I can't say they'll give us a mana leaf herb. We'll get them to give it to us somehow. This is a letter from my father to Himdal. You should be able to enter the village with this. Thank you. Princess, you have my thanks. Where's Himdal anyway? Tower of Salvation is located in the middle of the world, right? South, um, it's south of there. I heard it, uh, it's surrounded by the Yamura Forest. 
Okay, let's go, guys. So we got the King's Letter. Alright, so... Uh, we can get the Zircom and, um, Zircom and the Mano Leaf Herb. Like I said, I want to go get the Mano Leaf Herb and Ultimira first. So, uh, that's where we're, we're going to be headed. And, um, also there's some side quests that we can do. Um, one actually, one side quest we can actually finish, and another side quest we can make some progress on. And get close to finishing. Assuming we can really hurt Uri and pick up the pace for this episode, because I do want to, uh finish everything in this episode there is a side quest i need i want to um there's a side quest i want to make some pretty good progress in so uh yeah let's just hurry up and see if we can get this done before we go off to uh, him now so anyway uh coming in here before we go to um the los reno building if we come over here by the grave you're persea mr wells you people brought persea here what didn't you want us to take her away from rosette but this is... This is what? N no, it's nothing. By the way, uh, you can understand what I'm saying? Yes, Lloyd and the others saved me. So you've realized the passage of time. Yes, I've lost my adult body and my childhood. I'm sorry I chased you out of the village. No, it's alright. What you said was true. Persea no longer has any relatives. Every single one of them is gone. Please support her. Yeah, of course. Persea is our friend. I see. Later. That's great, Perse. He understands you a little now. Yes, Wells. He used to be so small. Hmm? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. So Perse obtained the title of mature kid. So I'll um I will check that out. Um. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'll equip that. All right. So now, if we come over here. Um, you dropped something. Uh, thanks. Of course. Oh. What is it? Uh, no. I don't mean to be rude, but... That ring you... Um, where did you... Cyback, a student in the, at the Imperial Research Academy, was selling it... Uh, was selling it at the bazaar. <clears throat> uh, sorry, my nose is just a little stuffy. Joshua. Do you know that student? No. Uh, I apologize for asking something like this. Uh, but could you give this money for, to the student who sold you that ring? What? Why all of a sudden? I did something cruel and unforgivable to him. It's an, um, it is an apology for that. It's starting to get a little too complicated. But she looks so sad, I want to help her. Alright, let's help her. Thank you so much. My name is Rosa. After you give the money to Joshua, please come see me again. I'll be at my house in Mel Tokyo. Gotcha. When we're done, we'll head for Mel Tokyo. Okay, let's go. So, we are trusted with 5,000 gal. Alright, so, uh, coming down here. For now, we're just gonna wanna go, uh, to the Laredo building. So we can get, uh, see if we can find, uh, Zircon. Alright, so, coming up here, uh... We're just gonna wanna go to the president's office. And let's talk to George. Is everything running smoothly? Yes, the business is. However, sealed Xpear mine was raided by someone. We believe it was the work of Varley. But unfortunately, it appears that access to the quarry area was prevented. So it would seem. But it's safe to assume that there will be no more trouble of that nature. Varley is dead. Are you certain of this? In other words, Alicia was avenged for the actions of Regal and Persea. I see. This is good news. Are you here just to report this information? No, I have other business. I want to take a look at the records concerning past mining operations. Please unlock the door to the archives. Documents related to the past mining operations uh, operations should be in the left room on, of the second floor archive. I see. Thank you. Alright, so let's just head down there. The last Zircom ship, uh, the last ship, um, Zircom shipment was, what the, well, well, what, what have we here, Guchinawa, the Pope is gone, Farley is dead, 
Why do you still get in our way? This is about me, isn't it? Of course, because of you, my parents and countless members of our village died. The chief has not awakened from his coma for ten years. I'm sorry. You think apologizing will cut it? I will never forgive you. Kuchinawa, if I'm the one you hate... Shina, if you're going to suggest sacrificing yourself again, I'll never forgive you. No, if I'm the one you hate, then let's have one-on-one -on -one duel. As, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, if I can actually read, dictated by the village custom. Do you really think you can uh, defeat me alone? Well, do you accept my challenge? Very well. Do you want um, do what you want to do here and now? We'll, um, we'll follow the village custom and fight on the Isle decision. Is that alright with you, Lloyd? I guess it wouldn't be much use trying to stop you. Thanks. I'll be waiting for you on the Isle of Decision. Wait, give me back that document. This is proof of your um. This is proof of your promise to fight. Clint may die if we don't have that. If you need proof of the duel, I'll give you this. And that is, Crin's memento, as you wish. Very well. If you do not come, I will grind this bell to dust. Sheena, I know how important that was to you. I'm sorry. It's alright. I just need to win against him in... Slash FL... What? Uh, typo. Uh, won't run, run away from um anymore. We can get to the Isle of Decision from Mizuho. Can we go later? But first, let's go uh, get the Zircon. Colette is much more important. Yeah, alright. Where's the Zircon? It says that the last shipment was sent to the Imperial Research Academy in Cybac. Okay, let's get going. Won't run away anymore? Damn it, what should I do? Alright, so, um... Let's just head to Cybac, then. We need to head back to Cybac, uh, conveniently, because, uh, we need to go talk to Joshua about, um, the continuing of that side quest. To give him the money. All right. Hopefully my voice again doesn't sound too different, but uh, it's cold season, so yeah, I kind of have to deal with that. But uh, all right, let's just head to side back. In fact, speaking of cold, um, it was really freaking cold today. It's like um, it was like freaking like 20 degrees this morning when I like got ready to go to school. Uh, it really sucks, cause um. Especially since, like, our school just for some... It was, like, it was even, like... It was freezing in there. Uh, but anyway. Coming over here. Joshua, the due date is getting close. I'm almost... I almost got enough to pay for the tuition. Please, uh, please wait just a little longer. You are an excellent student, so I don't want to kick you out either. But those are the rules of the academy. I know. I'll see if you, uh... If you can get another scholarship, but try your best. I will. Hi, welcome back. Uh, let me guess, you heard that conversation. I'm sorry we eavesdropped. No, it's alright, it's embarrassing, but I can't pay the tu uh, tuition at the academy. Uh, that's why I'm at the bazaar, but it's not going so well. Ah, so that's why that woman said to give you this money. What are you talking about? Um, in Ultimera, we received uh, money from uh, for you from a woman. So, we gave him the 5,000 gal. This is a huge sub. Who would possibly... Wait a minute. Did you say Ultimira? Is it Rosa? <coughs> she talked to us after seeing uh, the ring Sheena received from you. It is Rosa. I'm sorry, but I can't accept this. Please give it back. Even though he can use that to pay off his tuition. Uh, whatever. What? Sounds like something's up. I don't think it would be good to pry. But if we don't know what's going on, we'll have to keep going back and forth. Rosa was my girlfriend. We were going to get married once I became a full scholar, but she betrayed me. What do you mean? All of a sudden, she said she was going to marry a noble, so she wanted to end our relationship. She told me she was tired of a uh, life of a poor student. What the? She's horrible. 
I'd be lying if I said I didn't resent it, but I can't accept t charity. Okay, I understand. We'll go give it back. Thank you. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna have to go back to Rosa to continue this side quest, uh, which I plan to do on this episode if we can get things done here. Uh, Chosen One, please forgive me. What? I heard that a ten foot tall angel uh, had descended from heaven and devoured those who opposed the Chosen. Ten feet tall? Devoured? Hmm. Wow, I didn't know there were uh, scary angels like that. That girl with the uh, Curse's Crystal doesn't devour humans whole, too, does she? Don't be stupid. I trust the Chosen, really. Good, good. Is there any, um... Is there any of the, that Zircom left here uh, that was purchased from the Lizarino Company? Zircom? Uh, yes there is. Could you give us some? Of course, it's in the next room past the, this door. There are books scattered all over, but you, uh, you'll still be able to find it right away. I'll leave it unlocked. Alright, so, uh... We can just come over here. And open this chest to get the Zircon. Alright, so that's one ingredient. Uh, down. So, now we're just gonna need to go find a mana leafer. But, before we end this episode off, I want to continue the side quests, uh, with the Pink Pearl Rain, and Rosa and Joshua. So, uh, yeah, before we end this off, I want to finish that real quick. So, we are going to be heading back to Mel Tokyo, which is over in that direction. And, alright. So, yeah, we can go through the front doors now that, um, uh, since Pope has been taken care of. Um, alright, so she's in the rich area of Mel Tokyo. So, uh, we're just gonna wanna head over here. Oh. Alright, so here she is. Did you give the money to Joshua? He said he couldn't take this. No, why? Joshua's a man. He can't accept this kind of charity. Lloyd, stop. But, I see. You heard what happened to Joshua. I'm a cruel woman. I took his tuition and then betrayed his love. This is the money he gave me. Money he took out of his, um, his school expenses. So returning it to him is the right thing to do. Why do you need so much money? It's... Rosa, Master is calling for you. Uh, thank you. I'll be right there. Please excuse me, I must hurry. I'm sorry for making such a request. Hey, she's gone. Now then, um, where do you work? Chosen. Uh, uh, yes, um, I serve Master Cromwell. Hmm, is Zealous famous? But Rosa didn't know him. Uh, Mistress Rosa's, uh, from Flanor, so... Of course I'm famous, but it's not like my face is known to everyone outside Mel Tokyo. Hmm, Cromwell. Do you know him? I don't, um, hear a lot of good things about him. I heard that he recently took in a girl as a servant for partial payment of debt. That, um, that is Mistress Rosa. She was forced into an engagement of Master Cromwell in order to pay back her parents' debt. Oh, I must get back. Please excuse me. I feel sorry for her. I was rude to her when I didn't know what was going on. Should we tell Joshua? Rosa probably would not like for him to know. That's why she left without telling you. I can't accept this. I think we should tell Joshua. What should we do? I agree with Sheeta. We're gonna go tell Joshua. So, let's just head back to Cyback. Alright, so here we are in Cyback. And, alright. Let's just go see Joshua. Here he is. Hello, go uh, hello again. Did you return it to Rosa? Uh, yeah, let's just tell him the truth. Joshua, there's something I want to tell you. Rosa's hiding something from you. Is it true? In order to pay back the debt, she... 
Then that was a lie. What happened? Rose's mother was sick and they were in debt in order to treat her. I took um, money out of my um, academy school expenses in order to help her. So that's why you couldn't pay your expenses. The money Rosa tried to give you um, may be your school expenses that you gave her. Rosa, I would have quit the academy for you. She didn't want you to quit? She probably couldn't stand the thought of you giving up your dreams for her. Where is Rosa now? She's at the house of a noble named Cromwell in Mo Tokyo. Thank you. Is Joshua going to be alright? Maybe we should help him. We shouldn't get any more involved. Saying to one, uh, saving to what he loves is something he needs to do himself. Alright, well that's actually all we can do in that side quest for now. So, we're going to end it off here. Next time, let's play Tales of Symphonia. We're going to head to Himdal and search for the Manaleaf Herb. See you guys then!